The right. Browns today signed a veteran offensive lineman who's yeah. from Bedford. your hometown. Yes, Bedford. Right. Roger Saffold. This guy. He's he was had a decent career. He's a Pro Bowler last year. Yeah, we a Pro Bowl last year. With Buffalo, and he's been a Pro Bowler the last two seasons, and he's on the practice squad this year. I I, I tried looking into why what? I couldn't find it, but he was a Pro Bowler last year in uh, Buffalo. He's a Pro Bowler the year. Didn't before he play in for the Niners? No, he played what? for the Rams. Hey, what, what, what oh, the Rams? thinking of there's another guy who used to play offensive line for the Niners who's also from the area. Okay, okay, that's I can't think his name, but that's, that's probably what you think. So he plays guard. He plays guard in 2021. Alex Boone. Right, right, right. Yeah. As a, a member of the Tennessee yeah. Titans, he was a Pro Bowler well, last season with Buffalo. Started all 16 games. Was that's a pro bizarre. How, how did? Wait a minute. How does that happen? That a guy who starts all six or 16 of the 17 games last year okay, for a good yeah, team and is a Pro Bowler and he's and he's out of football. And here's the, a bizarre he thing too: is he, the last two years at age 33 and 34 were his only Pro Bowl season. He had never been a Pro Bowler before that. I got a question for you guys. Man, this is just a, just a thought. Weird. I wonder if. Him being from Cleveland, you would think it would be a lifelong dream of his to play for the Browns. Mm-hmm. I wonder if they didn't have a gentleman's agreement. I don't want to play this year. I'm going to stay in shape. But if you guys become a playoff team, I would love to come on board and join the playoff ride for my hometown team. He was on team. the Jets practice squad, though. What's so that? He, he was on the Jets practice squad. Oh, he was? Uh, yeah. He was. So we, we snagged him off the Jets practice squad. No, he yes, got sir. released, and then they he got released yesterday, and the Browns signed him. To That's that. just so yeah. weird to but me. But he had been on the practice squad. How does, a guy, the practice squad. how does a guy go from a pro bowler last year, and he can't get on the field for a team that has one of the worst offensive lines in the game? So yeah. my only theory, and gee, please tell me if this makes any sense or no sense. He's 34 years old. He's about to turn 35. Offensive linemen don't have the longest shelf lives. I assume, and this is just me piecing the puzzles together, or putting the piece of the puzzle together. He was about to retire. The Jets were like, please, we need some help. Come. I'm not sure how long he was on the practice squad. All I know is he was on the Jets practice squad. Okay. So maybe, maybe like, it's the only thing I could think of, G, can you think of a reason why a guy who made back-to-back Pro Bowls was all of a sudden out of football with no league, he had no legal issues, it's completely squeaky clean in um, that regard? Well, there's thing that we, we call self-scouting. Uh, <laughs> sometimes teams are just bad at self-scouting. Like, they... Like, have you ever noticed, you, you know, that you keep trotting out the same guys and they keep giving them opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. You're like, what are they seeing this guy? I don't, what, yeah. what are you seeing? And then there's some guys that, you know, Tyvis could tell you, there's some guys that, that bust their tail in practice, make plays in practice, make big time plays, do everything the coach wants them to do. And then guess what? Guess what? You, they don't get any run. No tick, no, no play time. Man, I could get the answer. You know how I can get the answer? My agent texted me right now about him, and me and him share the same answer. So he so signed AJ, with the so Jets. I just ask him. Right? Wait, wait, you had the same agent? Yeah, me and Roger had the same agent. That's how I got oh, my agent because nice. Roger. So, was, oh, okay. A couple of things like a, here. You know. He signed with the Jets on October 31st, so he'd been out of the league. He was not retiring. I read that he said he, he, he wasn't playing. He wasn't retired. What info do you have from the agent? I'm about to ask him yeah. right now. Oh, you're, oh I thought He's you He's literally had texting me. I'm What's interesting, to... though, is, he, like, the Browns, if anything, need a tackle. And he, he came out of college as a tackle his first three years. But well, for the last decade, he's played guard. Oh, oh yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, listen, hey, we, you know. That might be one of those under-the-radar moves that we look back on and say, what a home run that was. Because you know what it gets real, Jay. If you win the first round, and I'm not fast-forwarding nothing. Don't tell me. That I, I'm not looking past whoever come out of the South. But if you win that game, it's all hands on deck after that. Sure. Because now it get real. Right. Now it's like, okay, well, I don't care if you've been here all year. I'm playing the best people to give me a chance to win. Right. And that gives them a couple weeks to ramp up, it's see what they got, it, and it who might knows? be one of those moves that we look back on and say Weird. That was didn't seem like much at the time. Yeah. We didn't think much of the Hopkins signing at the time. We thought, well, who is this guy? Yeah. Doesn't have a huge leg from over fifty. He's been great. I can't I, find anything, and I'm, I swear to you, I'm looking through all the articles on Roger Saffold I could find as to why I'm this getting, guy. Yeah, I, can't, I couldn't find any of the three dots. Okay, <laughs> so his agent right now is in, in writing mode. Yeah. Times, who's the agent? Can we give him a shout-out? No, he's texting him right now. They, no, no, they I know, say, but who? Like, oh, my, age, my agent? Yeah, Jared Fox, sports stars, baby. <laughs> <laughs> And that's Roger's agent, too. Yeah. And you are with this agency because Roger, who went to Bedford, oh, yeah. did he go to Bedford High School? Yes, he did. Bear Your Cat. high school. Yeah. He said to you, here's who you need to sign with. Yeah. How so about let's get that? Roger on the show. Hell yeah. The, the Jets, let's go by right the way, to the source. <laughs> the Jets, by the way, who have had him on the practice squad now for 
October 31st. Ten week, eight weeks. Have started six different players at right guard this season. And he didn't play at all, right? He did not play a single yeah, That is weird. stunning to me. Because, that is a by, by the way, the article I was reading on October 31st said they were signing him to put him on the roster. And that didn't happen, though. So I wonder if he I came if he in and wasn't released. in game shape. I guess Because so. his last game would have been nine months earlier. Yeah. We I were talking about Lyle like Collins as an offensive him. lineman. He just signed with the Cowboys yesterday. Oh, did they? Oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm teams, assuming, I tell you, these teams now that, that know they're in the playoffs, yeah. they're beefing up their weaknesses. I, again, we talked about it yesterday with Jarvis Landry, which to me is a much bigger need than Dalvin Cook. I, I agree. Talk to him. Hey, I, I sent you a video of a guy I do think the Browns should at least bring in for a tryout. Is yeah, there any me, way we can tag board that and show it? You guys haven't heard of this guy. Most yeah. people haven't. I hadn't before I, uh, seeing this video. He said, By the way, the Browns did did cut their their punter from last week. So so Bohorquez is, is probably in, in good all to likelihood go. he's yeah, good. Yeah. He, go he just said that he was an alternate. He said, but he think he is just a little late in his career. He said he agreed that he should have been playing because the Jets line's not good. There you go. That's just the Jets. Mm. He said. Yeah, I think the Jets are just a team <laughs> so, that can't get out of their own way. They're, they're the Browns from six years ago. They're not very good. Seven years ago. Not very good teams make not very good decisions. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, that's a that's well said. That should be a bumper sticker. Yeah, it should. I might have a T-shirt for that. That's and crazy. It, you could have made it in brown and orange, but now you can make yeah. it in green and white. Yeah. Ne- never bad good. to have a, a veteran offensive lineman join the team. No, that's Especially like an a ace guy. in your hand that you need to throw at some point yeah. later in the game.